the scary thing for most patients after they've had a heart attack is they want to know, am I going to have another heart attack? And unfortunately, where the field of cardiology lies right now is we cannot answer that question reliably for them. The answer is we, we don't know. And that's um, uh, very scary for patients, and it's very ungratifying for physicians not to be able to tell patients whether or not they're going to have another heart attack. For the last 30 years, we've used traditional uh, invasive angiography uh, to identify blockages within the artery. And a lot of these plaques that potentially rupture and cause additional heart attacks cannot be detected by traditional invasive angiography. Uh, they're completely missed. And so now with uh, more advanced intracoronary imaging tools, uh, we think that we are able to identify plaques that have these vulnerable features. And the goal is to be able to eventually one day identify these plaques that have these vulnerable features uh, before they cause a heart attack and potentially do something about it to prevent the heart attack from happening. So we're currently conducting research at Spectrum using a combined uh, novel uh, catheter uh, in the coronary arteries. And this is one of the most cutting edge technologies currently available anywhere in the world to study uh, the arteries of the heart. And this uh, modality involves combining ultrasound within the artery with near-infrared spectroscopy. And the benefit of using ultrasound is that we can get a lot of features of these plaques which we've traditionally which have traditionally been associated with uh, vulnerability to cause heart attacks. And in combination with the ultrasound, we have this infrared spectroscopy, which allows us to identify plaques composed of lipid core. And it's our hope that with conducting these research studies, we're gonna be able to learn more about which of these plaques are gonna cause heart attacks in the future. So the use of this catheter will allow us to get more information about patients' arteries than we've ever been able to get before. Uh, it will give us very detailed information about uh, the size of the plaque, uh, the size of the vessel that it's in, and then now for the first time uh, also what the plaque is made of. Um, and we'll be able to study not just those plaques that have become severe and need to be treated with angioplasty and stenting, but also those plaques which have not yet become a problem. And it will allow us to follow those plaques over time to see if they actually develop into plaques which cause heart attacks and recurrent blockage. With this catheter, we'll be on the cutting edge of advanced intracoronary imaging, uh, I think on par with any other institution in the country. So the new advancements in uh, advanced intracoronary imaging will hopefully take us from being very good at treating heart attacks to actually potentially one day preventing them. It's very gratifying to be at an institution that has these advanced tools uh, to allow us to conduct these research studies to help move the field forward uh, towards our ultimate goal of being able to one day prevent heart attacks.